traders I am done with trading today um, didn't trade too much today just uh, three trades I'm up uh, $2,200 started with uh, NKLA which was a just a terrific uh, gap and go trade stock started down like 17 or 18 percent tried to move higher that was a perfect formation for a short in a gap and go trade and it worked out great short was right over here at $40 now you take a look at NKLA and you think like when you see a stock that is moving up so strong you take a look at this pullback and you say well that should be a pullback which will take it to a new high you're right technically speaking if you disregard the fact that the stock is down 17 percent but when you start thinking about the fact that uh, most gap and goes are over three percent and it's likely to come down because of that then that should be your short opportunity and not your reversal to go long and that's the difference about a stock that is gapping down so much when you've got such a big gap down that's your opportunity to short it and it worked out great that's our biggest winner today with $4,800 I also have a very unpleasant loser which is Roku as you can see here I let it ride a bit more than I should have and I did trade it with smaller size but I really let it ride a bit more than I mean my stop was not right let's just say it clearly but I'll tell you why the stock started uh, up came down proved to me it wants to continue higher you see this v-shaped formation here is very strong usually so it kind of proved to me it wants to go higher and just moved over the highs you don't buy it when it's moving over the highs you wait for a pullback that's what I did wait for a pullback went long somewhere over here and well it just didn't work out and come and came down at the same time the market the S&P was moving higher and that's what's strange about it because you see when the S&P is moving higher so should Roku. Roku just did not respond to the S&P. That's one of the, I would say, rare occasions. Uh, I just, you know, just one of the occasions that the stock is just not doing as it was supposed to. And that's exactly the reason why we're losing money sometimes in trading because my average may be 68%, uh, but the 32% the, the, the that are not working well, that's exactly... Uh, the reason why could it not work well anyway for some reason it's it's very volatile today as you can see it came down quite a lot then moved up quite a bit and now coming down again I don't know well it just didn't do what I expected to do and that's a loser uh, the last one was uh, Tesla and Tesla was um, more like a scalp I would call it I did not trust Tesla to move over the highs but we all know the behavior of Tesla when you're trading Tesla you need to think that it is a stock that's being watched, watched by a lot, a lot, a lot of people. And uh, many of them are just, you know, very, how should I say, unexperienced traders. When they see Tesla moving up from the lows, they will jump all over it and uh, join the party. And that's exactly what happened here. Actually, right now it looks like an interesting short, but again, the market is at the highs. It's going to, probably going to pull back down because the market's pulling from the highs, as I mentioned earlier, but be careful, don't, in my opinion, dangerous trade. Anyway, we took it over, I took it over 1500, Scott posted it over 1501, uh, you can see that Scott's entry here was much better than mine. I mean, yeah, I got another dollar, but his point right here at 1501 was a perfect technical formation here, and it continued for another eight or more points. So that gave me my second winner today. And end result, nice green day, nothing to write home about, but a nice start for the week. Just three trades. Uh, did not find a lot of opportunities today I have to say Scott did start with mRNA short which worked out amazingly well but uh, for me I'm okay with my three trades like to start my day on a, with a little profit cushion so anyway thank you very much for watching uh, thank you for joining us thank you guys on YouTube if you don't mind giving us a thumb up that would be appreciated and um, I'll see you all tomorrow bye traders enjoy the rest of your day Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14-day trial. TradeNet has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004, and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities. Click here to start your free trial. 
If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.